Aloha, namaskar, and hello. This is Anu Hitchell reporting five minutes at five. This is day four of the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, the Conference of the Parties, COP22 or COP22, as they say here in Marrakesh, Morocco. I'm sitting here in one of the plenary rooms where most of the results get reported. It's, uh, this is where the ministers and the heads of state report, or really they actually uh, renew their commitments to the Paris Agreement. This COP, uh, COP22, has been one that is not as exciting, perhaps, as the others in such as the one in Paris and the one in Copenhagen many years before that. This is really uh, one of the smaller COPs in the sense that it's a, it's a real workhorse of a COP. So the parties get together, they uh, negotiate, their negotiators come in, they're talking about how do they provide procedures for the rules for the climate ag agreement, for the Paris Agreement. So this is something that we've been working on um, for 22, 25 years now. And uh, finally, we have the Paris Agreement where all countries have agreed to do something about climate change. However, uh, perhaps there was a little bit of a shock that went through this, this little smaller COP after last uh, week's elections. And um, one of the things that's happened, of course, is people are wondering, countries are wondering, is the United States going to pull out of the Paris Agreement and what does that mean for climate action all over the world? So one thing that is heartening, one of the chief negotiators here said uh, that it's heartening to see that countries have decided to stay the course regardless of what happens. And of course, um, what will actually happen remains to be seen. We don't know what President-elect Trump will do. However, it does make some sense that um, there is a talk of clubs of mini agreements, perhaps regional agreements or, re or agreements where countries that are uh, similarly involved, such as China, India, Brazil, those countries might make their own separate agreements that would then dovetail into the Paris Agreement. So there are all kinds of combinations possible at this point. Also, looking at perhaps using some of the, the provisions of the Paris Agreement and putting it into trade agreements that are being signed and into investment agreements. So all is not lost and for many people here who have been, who are COP veterans, they feel that four years really is not such a long time. So that was sort of heartening to see. Perhaps the mood has lifted a little and or maybe we're just getting new, used to the new reality. But the problem, of course, is um, no one knows what is going to happen with uh, someone who doesn't have a, uh, a track record in politics, such as Donald Trump. So anyway, this is uh, this is something that we will we will stay the course. Um, and I would say that along with uh, Secretary Kerry yesterday and various people here today, the feeling very much is that um, that this will go on without, with or without the U.S.'s involvement in the Paris Agreement, that things are already set in motion where we will be very much, um, it would be very difficult to disentangle from it. So that's really been the main news here today. And aside from the sort of slow plodding along of negotiations and setting uh, procedures for rules, there really hasn't been a whole lot else happening in terms of the, the actual negotiations. However, there are plenty of side events, there are all kinds of things going on, people talking about renewable energy, talking about technology, talking about finance, talking about climate justice. So there are lots of things going on, about 25,000 people over here. So that's about double what was there at, more than double of what was at the World Conservation Congress in Honolulu a couple of months ago. So once again, this is Anu Hittel, five minutes at five, and hoping to stay the course with uh, some of these fighting words that really four years is not a long time. We've seen worse. So fingers crossed and we're charging right along over here at the climate conference. We'll see you again tomorrow, five minutes at five. Aloha, namaskar.